Hello, and welcome to the Fall Fundraiser Troop Manager Training. I'm Jess Delp, the Director of Product Program and Retail here at Girl Scouts in the heart of Pennsylvania. Thanks for joining us today and for taking on this important role. For some of you, this may be your first time taking on the Fall Fundraiser role. For others, this is not your first rodeo. But we do have some new and exciting things to share with you about this year's program. The first thing is the name change. You'll see GSHPA referring to the Fall Product Program as the Fall Fundraiser Program moving forward. And that's because we think that Fall Fundraiser is more customer facing so that when the girls are participating, their friends and family realize that it's a fundraiser and that they're directly supporting the Girl Scouts. We also have new vendors. We're working with M2 Media and Trophy Nut. M2 Media handles the magazine side of things and the tech, which is really exciting. And Trophy Nut has the nuts and candy items. So this year, girls will be selling magazines, online only, no paper forms, and then nut and candy items. There are no other items like the tumblers and candles that you might have seen in previous years. It's just these two sets. M2 Media, managing the magazine side of things, and Trophy Nut, the nuts and candy. Perhaps the most exciting thing is because the tech is new and really user-friendly, there's a girl avatar that the girls will be able to create, and you will too. You'll get to make your own volunteer avatar, and that's a really important piece of this program. This is just a snapshot of some of the important program dates. You'll find all of this information and more in your Fall Fundraiser Troop Manager Handbook. On October 1st, you will receive a launch email from the M2 site. That's going to give you eight days to set up your page and do all these fun things in the website before the program begins on October 9th. The girls will participate and the program ends November 27th after Thanksgiving. That way the girls can talk to their family and friends over the holiday. The first day that you are able to enter the orders from the girl order card in the M2 system is November 22nd. Starting on October 9th through November 27th, parents will be able to enter the paper orders into the system. The last day for you to enter the orders, make sure everything's right, that the parents might have done, is November 29th. So from November 22nd until November 29th, you're able to edit those in-person paper orders in the M2 system. Once all that information is collected and you see what the girls have earned in terms of rewards, all of that can be updated up until November 30th. The delivery for the nut and candy items will be between December 14th and 17th, and you'll want to connect with your fall fundraiser service unit manager about the date and location. They'll reach out to you, but that's the person that coordinates all that. And the reward delivery will be the week of January 11th, and those items get sent directly to the fall fundraiser service unit manager, and then they'll work with you for distribution. There are a lot of moving parts and a lot of people involved in having a successful fall fundraiser program. You have your product program team here at GSHPA. That's myself as the director, Michelle Jinks as the associate director, and Caroline Jager as the product program specialist. And you might get emails from us throughout the program with some reminders or updates. Your VSC is your main contact though. So anytime you have questions or concerns, about anything Girl Scout related, your VSC is your go-to person, and that's the GSHPA staff support person that's assigned to your troop. The FFSUM there in the middle, again, Fall Fundraiser Service Unit Manager, is the manager for the service unit. And you'll also work a lot with them with the Fall Fundraiser program. They're the one who's gonna have specific details about your service unit delivery, rewards, and all those sorts of items. The delivery agents, we work with them very closely to make sure that the nuts and candy items get delivered safely to the right places. The Juliets and families, right? There's Girl Scouts that may not be a part of a troop, and so they are supported by the FFSUM and the VSC so that they can also participate in this program. The FFTM, that's you, the Fall Fundraiser Troop Manager. You're really the backbone of this program, supporting the troop, helping the families feel engaged and excited and making sure that everyone has a great time and learns a lot through this program. 
You work with the girls and families, and of course the customers. Those are friends, family, and even the public. The fall fundraiser program is not a friends and family only sale. So technically girls could be going door to door or talking to um, other people they might know, bus drivers, teachers, doctors, veterinarians, etc., as they participate in the program. One of the many reasons that we're really excited about working with these new vendors is because the M2 Media Group has a really wonderful customer service department. So they have representatives that work with families, volunteers, anyone involved in the fall fundraiser program. So you can actually reach out to them directly if you have issues with the M2 site, if there's questions about magazine subscriptions, maybe someone's trying to renew a subscription and needs a little help. They are available for us. So we're really excited to be able to share their contact information. It's in your FFTM handbook as well and to have that extra support this year. So before the program actually starts on October 9th, there's a few things that you'll need to do. The first of which is to watch the fall fundraiser fun recording if you didn't participate in the live event. That's being held September 10th with our vendors directly. So they'll be able to talk to you about the program, the items, the tech, and all those pieces. So if you didn't attend or can't attend live, we'll make sure that we have the recording available. You'll also wanna make sure that you submit your fall fundraiser troop manager agreement form. That's an online form that you submit to say that you're in charge of the program for the troop or troops that you're supporting. You'll wanna pick up your materials from your fall fundraiser service unit manager. Again, that's the volunteer in the service unit who's supporting the program. If you don't know who that is, your VSC can tell you, but they're gonna have all of the materials you need to distribute to the families in your troop. There is an online virtual girl rally for the fall fundraiser program. It's our first time ever doing a virtual rally and we're really excited. That's happening later in September. So encourage the girls to attend. There's a link on our website to register and every girl that participates gets a rally patch mailed directly to their home. In October, again, October 1st, you're gonna receive that email and that's gonna let you access the M2 site and start to set up your troop information. Once you're in the system, it's going to be your job to send the launch email to the girls in your troop. That's new this year. So if you've been in this role before, the system used to automatically send the email to the girls, but this year it's your job. So once you're in the system, you'll see that you can send the launch email to those girls participating. Once you get the materials from the FFSUM, you'll wanna make sure that you distribute them in a timely manner to the girls and families in your troop. That should all be done prior to the start of the program on October 9th. When you go to the FFSUM to get the materials or when they bring them to you, you will receive the Troop Manager Guide. I've talked about it a couple times, but that's your go-to handbook with all the information about this year's program. So you'll get that and a jumbo envelope. Inside that envelope are your girl materials. So each girl in your troop should get their order card, a flyer from M2, a money envelope, and the family agreement form. If you have girls with split households, you wanna make sure that there's a family agreement form for both houses, because that makes sure that the families sign off and that they're verifying that they're financially responsible for any items the girl sells. Once the program starts on October 9th, you'll wanna make sure that you are keeping in touch with the girls and families in your troop and encourage them to participate. They can set up their own website on M2, create their avatar, send emails to family and friends, and of course, take orders on the order card. In November, the girls continue to participate until November 27th. So you wanna keep an eye on them, encourage them, get them excited, and make sure the families are kept in the loop on any information, deadlines, etc. Remember, you have access to update the information from the in-person order card starting on November 22nd. Up until that time, the families may be entering the orders from the order card. So you'll wanna keep an eye on that and make sure all of that information is accurate before submitting the final order on November 29th. Once the program ends, you'll be contacted by your FFSUM about delivery. Remember, each service unit has their own delivery date and location. 
once you or someone from the troop picks up the product, it needs to be distributed to the girls right away. If there's any issues with the product, you need to let the FFSUM know so that we can get replacement product. Also make sure that as you're collecting money and payment for the product, it's going directly into the Troop Bank account. We don't want it sitting around in envelopes or getting lost or used on pizza or anything like that. It should go right into the Troop Bank account. That way, when we do the ACH on January 11th, everything is good to go. In January, you'll also pick up the girl rewards from the FFSUM. So those rewards get mailed to their home and then you work with them to receive them and distribute them to the girls. We do ask that everything is distributed within one week of receipt. And then again, make sure all the money's in the Troop Bank account because GSHPA will be withdrawing what is owed on January 11th. Once your FFSUM lets you know the date, time, and location for the product pickup, you will want to go into the M2 site and print off the delivery ticket. You'll bring that with you to the location where the product will be. And then you make sure that everything that's been ordered is there for you and the girls in your troop. Count and recount the product, sign off on the receipt for the FFSUM. They'll have a copy of the delivery ticket too. So you'll make sure everything looks accurate. You have the items on hand and then you sign for it. Again, if there's any damaged items or any issues, you need to let the FFSUM know immediately. Once the rewards arrive to the FFSUM the week of January 11th, you will be contacted about pickup. So you will work with the FFSUM to determine the time, date, location. You'll wanna print off the reward delivery ticket from the M2 site and bring it with you. And just like when picking up the product, you wanna count and recount, make sure everything looks accurate, and then sign for the items. Report any issues to the FFSUM within one week. So again, it's really important that when you're picking up items, you're counting, recounting, checking them, distributing them as soon as possible, and that way any issues can be reported within one week. Once you receive the rewards, again, just make sure you get them to the girls before the end of the month by January 31st. The sooner, the better. And again, any issues, we need time to figure out if we need to order more items, rewards, et cetera. So the sooner we know, the better. Personalized patches that are created by the Girl Scout or earned by the Girl Scout are actually going to be mailed directly to their home. So anything with the avatar you'll see in your handbook, any of those personalized patches get mailed to the girls and any go dough that they earn are also sent directly to the girls via email all of that information will be sent to the girls in january so those items you don't need to worry about in terms of the rewards we know that the world is a little crazy right now and since gshpa covers 30 counties in pennsylvania every area is a little different we wanna make sure that our girls, volunteers, and customers are safe. So we have some safety recommendations. Consider bagging up the girl materials and rewards by girl and utilizing contactless pickup or delivery. You could even have a container placed outside of your home where girls can pick up their items. You know, you can sanitize it in between pickups. You can make sure that there's scheduled times so that there's no overlap. And anytime you're working with other volunteers or the girls, please wear a mask, especially during product and reward pickup. We are asking the FFSUMs to ensure that the delivery sites have hand washing stations, hand sanitizer available, and all those items as well. Your next step now that you've taken this training is to submit your online agreement form. If you take out your phone right now and open the camera, you can hover it over this QR code in the top right hand corner. It will open up the online form for you to complete. If you're having issues with it, you can just ask your VSC to send you the link as well. We also encourage you to join our GSHPA FFTM Facebook group. You would just search for GSHPA FFTM and the group will pop up. This is just a place to connect with other volunteers in the same role 
And it's also an opportunity for the GSHPA team to send reminders about deadlines or updates to information in one place. It is by no means required to join this group, but it is a fun option. Make sure if you have girls in your troop that aren't registered yet that they do so as soon as possible. We can't add girls to the M2 site unless they are registered Girl Scouts. Remember to promote the fall fundraiser rally happening on September 23rd for girls. And if you haven't already signed up for the September 10th fall fun event, that's a virtual event for volunteers, families, troop leaders, FFTMs, any adults. So you can watch live or watch the recording afterwards. If you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to reach out to your VSC. And again, they will also connect you with your FFSUM. So you have lots of support. We're really excited for this year's fall fundraiser program. We're really enthusiastic about the sloth mascot, which the girls will be learning a lot about at the rally. And of course, having the girls build on their leadership and business skills. So thank you so much for all that you do to support the girls and the families in your troop. And we look forward to a fun fall fundraiser program.